Hello, Viola friends. This is Bizet's Le Toreador, and we are going to practice measures 55 through 69. And so let's just get right at it. Uh, there's nothing difficult, really, fingering-wise, but you just have to be careful about what's going on. Uh, for exa example, uh, the third measure in, 57, B flats, here's a there's my A, B flat. Just be real careful that we've got really good B flats there. And then in the next uh, two measures later, B flat again, G natural, get the, get your C high enough. And then the uh, F, D, and let's not do open D, open C. All right, that's a real silly uh, quick string crossing. You can use a four. Just gonna make sure that that, that fourth finger gets up enough, okay? Next measure, some more of the same, some more of the same, more, some more of the same. Now what I want to do is talk about 63, 4, 5, 6, 7. 67 and 68. Um, I'm going to encourage you, well, 67 simple. First finger A. But then I want to encourage you to go to a second finger A. So I'm ready for a first finger G sharp, third finger B, second finger E. And the reason for that is it, it's going to avoid a lot of sliding around and sloppiness. Um, this is a very proud kind of uh, melody. And by the way, this is the melody. Cool. You're playing some melody. How about that? So it just just it has a little bit a little bit of pride. And I don't think um, having very proud sounds is slip sliding and and um, and being cheesy with stuff. <laughs> I worked with an orchestra yesterday, and their director says no cheese, no cheese, because I had I had kids sliding all the time with their fingers, and they were violas, by the way. So and none of that. I just want very clean playing. So it really needs to be a two, first finger G sharp, third finger B, and then E. Okay. Now, it, I'm not going to show this in the video, but it has a staggered up bow in the next measure, which would be measure 70. I'm going to encourage that when you do that, you get up to a first finger. So in this video, I might practice that um, when we get there, uh, just as good practice, because in the next video, uh, we really need to be doing a first finger E and not a second finger E, okay? So I think all that's pretty simple, and I don't need to s slow this all the way down to 90 or 94. So I'm going to start at 104. Oh, rhythm-wise, I forgot a couple things. Um, rhythm-wise, make sure it's D da da D D yeah da da ba bam ba bam. You got to really think the dot at eight sixteenth and make that very very clean and quick and not triplets. Da ya da da da. That's not what it is. D da da D D. You got to be real careful about that. It's the rhythm wise and musicality it says piano um but you are uh i believe you're an octave down from violins and and you kind of feel this middle octave and so it's all melody so we're an octave so i'm going to say it does say piano and i don't know if you've got 12 violas in your section then it should be piano my guess is you're not playing with 11 other people <laughs> so if you probably you probably have a smallish kind of viola section that most schools do so i would say just kind of pick it up a little bit and know that you're actually very important because it's actually the bottom octaves that are more important than the top octaves believe it or not okay so, uh, but at any rate, talk to your director about that, but this does say piano and I uh, kind of thing. And then the other thing is on these double ups, I don't want to hear. I'm always finding that first finger because I'm a, I'm a violinist and it always doesn't feel like it's in the right spot. I don't want that sound. I want just a little bit of, um, um, all right. Um, because I'm kind of correcting the bow here and I don't want to go up down there and so I'm just going to encourage you to go up up and not put in a lot of space there really should just be really really nice uh, two up bows okay ah oh, that's it so here we go starting metronome at 104 so learn where the spot is in the viola in the in the video one two here we go Pretty good. 
not so bad. Yeah, this one I think we're going to be able to speed up pretty quick, okay? You know it's kind of calibrating my hand. I check the A against that D, that's a perfect sound. And then the C with the open C, perfect sound, really good shape in my hands. Oh, one, two, here we go. thing to get in tune is to go from this open G to this open D so I really gotta gotta measure my hands and really know where that spot is um, I would again not encourage you to go to an open D unless there's just no way you're getting it in tune and your concerts tomorrow or something like that I do want you to constantly practice that really practicing that spot and, uh, and when I put my hand down, I like feeling the half step B flat, whole step C, whole step D. Just to get that practice. All right, this is 108. One, two, here we go. Sure, catch that next time. One, two, here we go. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm going. I really need to go for that G to that D. That time I didn't catch the D at all. Got to make sure that I use enough weight in my bow. I'll do better next time, 112. One, two, here we go. Just a couple times without the metronome. One, two, here we go. So there you have it. So keep practicing with me. Um, love that you've got a little bit of melody on this one. And uh, we got a fun uh, scale that's coming up that we're going to really uh, uh, wrangle with next time, okay? So subscribe to these videos. Thanks for watching, and watch some more, and let me practice with you a whole bunch, okay? Take care.